John chapter 3, verse 25 says, Then a dispute arose between John's disciples and a Jew about purification. Uh, this is coming on the heels of the author John telling us that Jesus went out into the countryside and he was with his disciples and they were baptizing and John the Baptist was out on the same countryside or somewhere in that area and they were baptizing. And so people were coming out to both of these and then this, this Jewish individual has brought up some issue. And, and we know that it only is about purification. That's all we know. Uh, there's a lot of speculation with the commentators. <laughs> They're all over the, the map on this thing. Maybe it had to do with the difference between the Jewish religion and what John the Baptist was saying about the coming Messiah. Maybe there was something between the two different messages that were being preached that was showing that Jesus' message was superior to John's message. Or, or We don't know. And we want to be careful to remember that we're going to let the Bible show us the clues when the Bible gives us the clues and when it's just speculation. We just remember that it's speculation. We think about it. We wonder, and that's okay, but but there is a little thing to note here. It says that this, this dispute was about purification, and uh, this translation uses the word purification. could have been the Jewish cleansing rites, the Jewish rites of purification. That Greek word is the same word we see when Jesus was taking all those big stone water jars and turning the water in them into wine. John uses the same word in uh, John chapter 2, verse 6. Now six stone water jars have been set there for Jewish purification. It's the same word. Uh, we don't know what this was about, but we're going to see that John's disciples are going to come to John the Baptist and they're going to bring forward an issue. And in the midst of all of that, they're going to point out that, hey, more people are going out to see Jesus than John the Baptist. What, what do we do when there's competition in this sort of thing with Jesus? Hey, what, what are you going to do, John the Baptist? And we get to see a remarkable response from John the Baptist. We get to see his heart. So God has sovereignly created some of this question so that we can have the conversation.